Reboiders. Now miners wear clothing with reflective patches. Miner Arvun Spinney, 26, changes his clothes after working inside the Gruva 7 mine, the only remaining operational coal mine on Svalbard, Norway, August 7, 2019. A miner changes his clothes. Hannah McKay, Reuters. Helmets protect the head, and torches light the way. A miner takes a short break inside an unregulated coal mine in Sabinas January 15, 2013. A miner takes a short break inside an unregulated coal mine in Sabinas January 15, 2013. Daniel Base Ariel, Reuters. In Poland's largest mine, Neoek. Before work begins miners cross themselves in front of St. Barbara, the patron of miners. A miner walks past St. Barbara, the holy helpers of the miners, at shaft 6, some 1000 meters below surface, in Germany's last act of coal mine Prosper Haniel of the Rag Foundation in Bottrop. A miner walks past St. Barbara, the holy helpers of the miners, at shaft 6, some 1000 meters below surface. Wolfgang Radai, Reuters. Source, Washington Post. And they never say good morning to their peers, because it's bad luck. Instead, they say, God bless. The coal miner's eyes are ringed in coal dust as he walks in a shaft approximately 1,000 meters below the surface at the KWK Neowet coal mine on November 30, 2018 in Polovas, Poland. The coal miner's eyes are ringed in coal dust. Sean Gallup, Getty. In Germany, they say blue gaff, which roughly translates to good luck, because of how uncertain the coal miner's life is. Burton, seen here, said in the US, it was mostly old timers who had their rituals. Miners are a creature of habit, he said. If the left boot goes on first, that's the way it'll carry on going. Curtis Burton. Curtis Burton. Curtis Burton. When Burton was going down into the mines every day, he said he kissed the photograph of his daughter who had passed away, and asked her to make sure to look out for him and ensure he got out. Miners descend thousands of feet into the earth to get to the coal. Burton said getting underground was quick, it might take 4 minutes in an elevator. Miners wait to descend the American Energy Corporation Century Mine at the start of their shift in Bellsville, Ohio, U.S., November 7, 2017. Joshua Roberts, Reuters. Source, mining technology. But it can take two hours, the long miles of rail tracks, for miners to get to the working section of the mine. They are paid for this time. A coal miner stands beside a tram descending over three miles into a mine. A coal miner stands beside a tram descending over three miles into a mine. Spencer Platt, Getty. Because mines go so deep, the air pressure can be enormous. And while ceilings can be bolted, it's not a foolproof technique. Burton said some mines have tried to cut costs by using cheaper roof bolts, but it's counterproductive, and unsafe. Floors can heave and walls can collapse. Miners call it a bounce. There are also deadly gases in the mines, like carbon monoxide and methane. Miners no longer take canaries down to test air quality, though. With one of the canaries, one of the devices, they are rapidly putting the canaries out of business, as gas detectors and mines. The gas detecting device, is called the Draper Multi-Gas Detector February 1970. That's where the phrase like a canary in a coal mine comes from. Watford, Mirapix, Getty. That ended in 1986, and was replaced by an electronic detector that provides a digital reading of gases. Monitoring the mines is necessary, because methane doesn't have a smell, and it can't be seen. Typically, the deeper a mine goes, the more methane is released, because there's more pressure. When methane mixes with coal dust the combination can be explosive. To get methane out, miners pump fresh air into the mine. Unfortunately, methane is unpredictable and can billow through the mine unexpectedly. According to Edward Cavaz and Gene Jr., a professor of civil engineering at Arizona State University, the problem isn't setting up proper ventilation. It's that coal mines sometimes cut corners, not wanting to waste valuable resources, like time and money. Coal mining is, and has been, a changing industry. Technology, like rock crushers and shovel swings, have replaced workers for years. That's how
how employment managed to fall from 250,000 miners in 1979 to 53,000 in 2010, while coal production still increased. Despite the technological advances, it's still exhausting work. Burton said quite a few tasks are repetitive and physical, like hanging power cables, and manually stacking crib blocks, which provides support in the mines. Stunning photos show what it's really like to work deep underground in an American coal mine. In the US, coal mining is a shrinking industry. In 1923, there were about 883,000 coal miners, today there are about 53,000. Working in coal mines is dangerous, miners have to deal with toxic gases, plus the threat of being crushed, drowned, or injured from fires and explosions. Some miners love it. It can be a family tradition, it's exciting, and the pay is usually pretty good. When a mine closes, miners would often rather work in another mine elsewhere than retrain. Curtis Burton, a 42-year-old coal miner, who spent 17 years working in mines, told Business Insider what the job is like. Visit Business Insider's homepage for more stories. Coal mining is dark, dirty, and dangerous work. It's not for everyone, it's for the few who love to descend into the bowels of the earth to extract black gold. Even as they face the risk of mines collapsing, or catching on fire, or the long-term health threats like black lung. As Curtis Burton, who spent the last 17 years working in or for coal mines in Pennsylvania, told Business Insider, coal mining is a hard job, but it's also entirely unique. Every day you're seeing a part of the earth nobody else is seeing ever, he said. Coal currently fuels just under 40% of the world's electricity. It's the most polluting fossil fuel, but it's also cheap and relatively plentiful. In the US, natural gas and renewables are replacing it as the top energy sources, even as President Donald Trump has promised to bring coal mining back. Asia has the most coal mines operating today, with 1,200. The area is responsible for 75% of the world's consumption. Coal mines are also booming in Australia, which earns about $67 billion in annual exports from them. Here's what life working in coal mines is really like. Down in a coal mine, there's no such thing as a 9 to 5. Coal miners enter a coal mine for the start of an afternoon shift near Gilbert. Coal miners enter a coal mine for the start of an afternoon shift near Gilbert. Robert Galbraith, Reuters. Miners usually work shifts, and they can be on for 10 days in a row. Some head down before sunrise and return anywhere from 7 to 12 hours later. Curtis Burton, 42, said at Cumberland Mine in Greene County, Pennsylvania, there are three 8-hour shifts, but each one ends up taking 10 hours, because of the 2 hours it takes to get to the site before miners can get to work. Inside a mine there's no natural light. Although Burton said with all of the technology, it's no longer as dark as once it was. But when you shut everything off it's as dark as dark gets, he said. Every day when you go underground you're seeing a part of the earth nobody else is seeing ever. I always thought it was neat, he said. When Burton started mining 17 years ago, miners brought their own clothes, typically blue jeans, a t-shirt, a belt to hold a torch and tools, and heavy boots. Coal mining boots are shown above miners' lockers before the start of an afternoon shift. 